Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how to design this robot in SOLIDWELL. So let's get started. So for the first step, create this 2D sketch on the frame plane. And uh, you can use all these dimensions to create it. Now select this and let's choose the robot service command. And revert it to 360 degree and confirm it. Okay, now let's go to the right side view. And on the right plane, create this 2D supply sketch. You can use all these dimensions to create. Now exit the sketch. Okay, now let's choose a reference plane. And select this point for the first reference. And let's select the frame plane for the second reference and confirm it. And right click on this plane and choose number 2. And create this 2D circle on that new plane. Uh, you have to remember the quadrant of this circle must contact with this endpoint of the previous plane. Now we need to create another reference plane. So let's choose the reference plane command. And our first reference will be this point. And the second reference will be the same frame plane. And confirm it. And again, right click on this plane and choose number 2. And create this small circle on this new plane. And you have to uh, add relationship of this quadrant and the endpoint of this line. Okay, now is it the sketch? Now let's go to the right side view one more time. And again, create this 2D supply curve on this uh, right plane. I just use the free end technique and this three dimension. Now let's go to the surface step. And is it a sketch? We need to use the love surface command. So first step, we need to select the cross chain, this one, and the small circle. And let's go to the guide curve section. And select this guide curve and this one. Okay, look pretty good and confirm it. Now let's use the offset surface command. And select these surfaces to offset it. And these surfaces too. Okay, now let's put the offset distance about 0 0.3 and confirm it. Okay, now let's use the trim command. Choose some visual trim. Select these surfaces. And let's choose keep selection. And select this outer surface and this outer surface and confirm it. And again, you need to create this 2D sketch on the right plane. I just use the supply and this dimension to create it. You can create any shape you want if you want to. Now we need to uh, reward this. So let's go to the service step and let's select this line and choose reward service command. Okay, and reward it to 360 degree. And again, you need to create another supply curve for the button portion. Uh, you need to use this dimension or you can create anywhere you want. Now, is it a sketch? Okay, now we need to create a reference plane. So first reference will be this point. And the second reference will be the same frame plane. And click on confirm. And right click on this plane. Let's choose normal 2. And you have to create this circle on this new plane. And you have to make sure the quadrant of this circle is contact with the previous supply. I mean the end one of previous supply. Now is it a sketch? Okay, we need to create one more reference plane. So select this endpoint of the supply. And the second reference will be the top plane. And click on confirm. Okay, now let click and choose number 2. And create this small circuit on this new plane. And again, you need to make sure the quadrant of this circuit is contact with the previous supply curve. Uh, just like this. Now, is it a sketch? Okay, now we need to use the uh, love surface command again. So click on this command. And now select this to circle. Okay, now let's go to the guide curve session and select this spline. Okay, look pretty good. Now let's confirm it. Okay, now we need to go to the top view. And you need to create this 2D slot on this top plane. You can use this dimension. Okay, uh, now is it a sketch? We need to create one more reference plane. So choose reference plane. 
The first reference will be the top plane. Okay, let's put the distance above. Okay, let's type it 7.3 inch and flip the plane and confirm it. And right click on this plane and choose number 2. And you have to create this 2D slow one more time on this plane. Actually, you can use the convert command and the previous sketch to make this sketch. Okay, now let's go to the uh, right side view. And you have to create a guide cap on the right plane. And you have to make sure the end one of this supplying guide cap is contact with the previous two sketch. Now is it the sketch? Now let's use the love surface command. Okay, first uh, we need to select the uh, sketch of this slot. And select this second sketch. Now let's go to the guide curve section and select this guide curve. You can create any style uh, you want for the guide curve. Okay, now let's hide all these sketch. Okay, now let's use the trim surface command. Okay, let's use the mutual trim, select this surfaces and this new surface too. And select keep selection and select this surface and this surface to give it and click on confirm. And now you have to create this 2D sketch on the right plane again. Just use the free hand technique to make this sketch. Okay, now we need to revert this. So let's exit the sketch, select this line and choose reverse surface and click on confirm. Okay, now let's go to the front view. And now you need to create this series of slow sketch on the front plane to trim the surface. Now let's exit the sketch and let's go to the surface step and use the trim command. And the trim tool will be this sketch. And let's choose the remove selection and select these services. And click on confirm. Now let's use the trim command one more time. And we need to uh, select the previous sketch. So select it. Okay, now let's just select remove selection and select this service to remove it. Okay, I'm going to select only five surface okay now let's go to the right side view and again you need to create this 2d sketch on the right plane these sketch are 100 degree from each other okay uh, now let's uh, use the trim command one more time from the surface step Okay, uh, trim tool will be this sketch and uh, select this services to trim and now select this services from the other side and confirm it. Okay, look like it is pretty good. And again, you need to create this 2D sketch on the right plane. You can use your own dimension to create it. Now let's use the trim command one more time. And trim tool will be this circle and choose remove selection and select this surface to remove it. Okay, if you want to, you can modify these edges. Now let's use the root surface command, select this circle and this circle. And let's put a distance about 0 0.5. And confirm it. Okay, look like we need to deselect the second edge. So clear it and confirm it. Okay, now let's do the same to the other sketch, this one. Now let's use the take end command and select this surface. And use the first option and click confirm. Now select this surface 
and confirm it. Now let's use the taken command uh, for the body. Select this. Uh, for this, select that options and thickness will be 0 0.15 inch and confirm it. Okay, that's look great. Now let's create a reference plane. The first reference will be the right plane. Okay, let's put the distance about uh, 4.7 or 5. It is up to you. And confirm it. Okay, now right click on this plane and choose normal tool. And create a 2D sketch on this new plane. Uh, this is the sketch for the upper part of this uh, rubber leg. You can create this shape or you can create any shape you want. Now is it the sketch? And let's use the steel ball space and select this sketch and choose the mid plane option and let's put the dimension about 1.2 inch and confirm it. Okay, and right click on this face and choose normal two. And create this 2D sketch on this new plane. I just use the socket and line and filler command to make this sketch. You can create any shape you want. Okay, now we need to use the S2 cut command. And let's put it about 0 0.25 and click on confirm. Okay, now we need to mirror this to the other side. So let's use the mirror command. And select the mirror play, which is the new play, play number 8. And feature will be this is to catch and click on confirm. Okay, that's good. Now right click on this face and choose normal do again. And again, create this to the sketch on the play number 8. Uh, which is the lower part of the robot leg. You can create any shape you want. That's why I'm not going to give the delete dimension for it. Now let's use the S2 command. Okay, let's choose the mid plane option again. You can do this anymore you want. I'm going to type 1.2, okay, 1.45 inch and confirm it. Okay, one more time, right click on this and choose number two. And again, you need to create this 2D sketch on the face of this last part. And here again, I'm not going to give the detail dimension for it because you can create any shape you want. Now let's choose the Stuka feature. And click on this inside area. And click on here. And click here and here. And let's put the dimension about 0 0.15. And click on confirm. And now we need to use the shell feature to make uh, it hollow. So select this phases. Okay, let's click on show preview first. And now select this phases. Okay, and you can put any thickness you want. And click on confirm. And right click and choose normal do. And you need to create this two circle on this face. Uh, you can use free technique to make this. Now let's use the S2 cut feature. And you can put any dimension you want. I'm going to put about 0 0.15 and confirm it. Okay, now I want this feature on the other side of the leg. So let's use the mirror command. And the mirror plane will be the new plane, which is plane number 8. And we need to select this s feature. Okay, uh, look good and confirm it. And yet again, you need to create this 2D sketch on the plane number 8. Uh, you can create any shape you want. Now we need to use the s command. Okay, now let's choose the mid plane option. 
okay let's type any distance you want i'm going to type 1.7 and click on confirm okay right click and choose number two and again you need to create this semi socket on the plane number h you can use your own dimension to create now let's use this two feature and again we need to use the mid plane options and let's type the distance any distance you want and confirm it And you need to create one more feature at this session by creating two seconds. You can create yourself. It is quite easy. So take your time to do it. And there is a one construction line which I have already created in the previous sketch, uh, which is this one. Now we are going to create reference plane from this sketch. So let's use the reference plane. And the first reference will be this line. And the second reference will be the right plane. And click on confirm. Now right click on this plane and choose normal do. Okay, let's rotate the view by pressing order and right arrow key. And now you need to create this 2D sketch on this new plane. I just use the freehand technique to make this sketch for the link. You can create any shape you want. Now let's use the S2 feature. Okay, one more time we need to use the mid play option. And you can S2 this anymore you want. And click on confirm. Okay, now you can use the filler feature to filler uh, the edges. And again, you need to create this 2D uh, rectangle on the play number 8. You can use a free technique to make this. Uh, we are going to use this for uh, a stucat feature. So use a stucat. And once again, we need to choose the mid plane option. Okay, let's change the distance about 1.05 or 1.0. Okay, 1.8 is best. Now click on select body and the body must be this one and confirm it. And you can use the filler feature to filler the edges. Now we need to use the previous construction line to create a new plane. So let's select this line and click on reference plane. And the second reference will be this point. Okay, and confirm it. And now uh, right click on this plane and choose normal 2. And you have to create this 2D socket on this new plane. You can use your own dimension to create it. Now we need to S2 this circle. So let's use the S2 command. Okay, uh, we shall use the first option for up to surface and select this surface and let's click on direction 2 and here you can put any more distance you want. It is like a hydraulic on the leg. Okay, now let's hide this sketch and we need to create a new sketch on this plane. So choose sketch and create a circle and once again you can create any side of circle okay now we need to s2 this again so let's use the s2 command okay uh, the first option should be up to surface and surface should be uh, here select the surface and confirm it okay now right click on this face and choose number two 